15 days ago, my dear friend's son had his arm blown off by a grenade. He made a tourniquet to save his own life and was last seen on a video being driven off in the back of a pickup truck headed to Gaza. These are words I still cannot believe are real, even as I hear myself saying them. I grew up with Hirsch Goldberg Poland's parents, John and Rachel, in Chicago. They moved to Berkeley in the late 90s, and when I moved here in 2001, I lived in a house in their backyard. Hirsch was born in Berkeley. I babysat for Hirsch when his oldest sister, Libby, was born. They made an aliyah to Israel in 2008. Most of the messages John and I share are either about work, our friends, or our kids. Over these past few weeks, I've been looking back through my chats with John to look at all the photos of Hirsch he sent for me from his travels around the world. One recent photo John sent me was of Hirsch when he and two friends were traveling through Europe together this past summer. In the photo, both boys look completely full of life, and Hirsch is holding a sign that says, looking for a ride to anywhere, open for adventure, want to see someplace new before Ozara, a, a music festival they were headed to in Hungary. That's who this kid, now injured and a hostage, really is. Hirsch was with one of his closest friends at the music festival when, when Hamas attacked. That friend, Anir Shapira, the great-grandson of Chaim Moshe Shapira, one of the signers of Israel, Israel's Declaration of Independence, died in that attack, while heroically shielding Hirsch and many others from grenades and gunfire. There's been a team of friends and family from around the world working night and day to save Hirsch's life, and for the sake of all of the hostages currently being held. It feels helpless and powerless to be so far away, and yet I've seen that by sharing Hirsch's story with elected officials, anyone connected to the government in the US or Israel, international aid organizations, and anyone with a platform and voice, it's made a real difference. At John and Rachel's per personal request, I ask you to please scream to anyone who will listen and demand that the International Red Cross be allowed access to the hostages. The civilian women, children, elderly, and injured who have been without medical attention for weeks, those hostages and all the hostages demand our voice and our action now as their time is running out. When I've asked John how they're holding up under these circumstances, he simply says, we're on a mission. That mission is ours as well. Hirsch is a son of Klal Yisrael, and we are all Hirsch's parents. May the memories of the innocent civilians and the soldiers fighting to defend our homeland be remembered only for a blessing. I'd like to close with an, ad an adapted excerpt from the Mishaberach prayer for those held captive. I will have Hirsch ben Pearl Chana ve Yonatan Shimshon in mind, along with his parents John and Rachel, and his sisters Libby and Orly. May he who blessed our ancestors bless, protect, and guard the members of the Israel Defense Forces and other captors, captives who are in distress or captivity, as we, the members of this Kehila Kedosha, pray on their behalf. May the Holy One, blessed be he, deliver them from their distress and bring them back swiftly to their family's embrace. Ben Omar, Amen. Amen. Bring them home!